One of the best ways to get more leads, more subscribers, more sales, more customers on your website is by including a call to action on your website. For example, if I asked you to subscribe to this channel right now for more WordPress tutorials, you'd probably subscribe, right? Right? Now here's the problem with adding call to actions on a WordPress website. You can either add them to the top of the website like a banner ad, which most people ignore, or the bottom of the content, which again, most people ignore. For it to be most effective, for the call to action to be most effective, you have to add it to the middle of the content where it gets the most attention. For example, if I were to tell you that we have tons of free courses available for you for Seed Prod, for all in one SEO, for Trust Pulse, for WP Forms, which are fantastic products that you can utilize on your WordPress website to get more leads, more sales, more business, you would be interested Interested, right? And this is not a hoax. This is actually true. You can check the link in the description and find out about these courses. Did you notice how effective that call to action was? Because I seamlessly added it between the content. That's what I'm talking about. The traditional way to do this inside WordPress is through two methods. Either use an add inserter plugin, which has problems of its own, or you can create a reusable block, which opens up the process to manual labor because you can create the reusable block and add all the content you want inside the call to action, but then you have to add the reusable block to every single post or every single location that you want to add to your website, which is not effective. So I'm going to give you a better solution today. In today's video, I'm going to feature a fantastic plugin and a fantastic feature inside the plugin that makes it all possible. So let's begin the video. So the plugin I was mentioning is called WP Code. It's a fantastic plugin that lets you add, edit, manage code snippets on your website. So if you have to add any kind of code snippets to your header, footer, your body, WP Code is the plugin you should check out. And it's available in the WordPress repository for free, but there's a pro version as well, which I'll link down in the description of this video. The feature specifically I'm going to demonstrate in this video is a pro feature, but there are tons of free features, which I'm going to also talk about. All right. So I already have the plugin installed on my WordPress website. This is my website and I just have the code snippets plugin installed. Once you install and activate the plugin, if you have a free version, you don't need to activate it. If you go for the pro version, you can activate activate or you'll need to activate it with your license key. Once that is done, you'll see the code snippets menu entry here. And again, what is a code snippet? It can range from anything uh, which you need to add to your website or take away some functionality on your website. For example, if you go to the code snippets library here, if you go to add new, that means adding a new code snippet, you'll see a lot of different predefined code snippets that you can simply utilize on your website. For example, WordPress doesn't natively support SVG uploads, but you can enable it with a code snippet. If you want to disable completely uh, comments com completely on your website, you can just use your code snippet. If you want to disable automatic updates on your website, you can use a code snippet. If you want to disable the admin bar for your users, you can use a code snippet. And there are tons of other functionality that you can add to your WordPress website using code snippets. And if you want to edit your WordPress files, it's always risky. So WP code helps you manage those code snippets. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to demonstrate a specific functionality, a new feature inside WP code, which helps you add those call to actions. So what I'm going to do is start a new code snippet. I'm going to use a blank code snippet. So this is the feature. This is how it's going to look like. Let's say I'm just going to name it call to action. And typically what a feature inside WP code offers is you have a variety of snippets. You can add HTML snippets, PHP code snippets, CSS snippets, but there's a new kind of snippet that's been introduced recently in the plugin, which is called a block based snippet. So if you see, these are the traditional options, HTML. So if you want to add any HTML to your site, you, you want to use text on your site, or you would include, include JavaScript, PHP, universal snippet, or even a CSS snippet, everything was possible. But this is a new feature called the block snippet. And why this is so powerful is this because you don't need to understand code. You don't need to write HTML or any code. You can use the WordPress block builder to just define or design anything you like, and then just add it anywhere on your site. Powerful, powerful stuff. For example, if I just click this edit with block builder, you say, hey, you want to save this? Of course, I want to save it. And this will open up the block builder. And what I can do is just design any kind of call to action right here. So I'm going to take a pause for a second. I'm going to design a beautiful call to action for, let's say, an upcoming workshop or a webinar I'm doing. And I'm going to show you how you can simply utilize it on your website. So I just quickly designed a beautiful looking call to action right inside the block builder. So no coding required, no HTML required, everything inside the block builder. And I'm not using any additional plugins, but if you're using any kind of page builder that works with the block editor, you can freely utilize any of these elements and this functionality will completely work even with that. So once you've done all this, make sure to update it. Once it's updated, you can return back to WP code snippet, which is where we're gonna make the rest of the settings. And since this is a block uh, editor, or since this is using the block editor, you won't see a preview here, but you can click and make any changes that you like. 
Going here to the insertion method, this is where we'll make the most or the biggest change. Because usually when you add a code snippet, you either want to add it, add it to the header of the site, the footer of the site, the body of the site. But this time, since we are creating a call to action that has to go inside the content, we have to choose a different set of options. So from the location option, what you'll choose is go from all these options, ignore them, just go to page specific options. So inside the page specific options, you have a bunch of different options. You can actually add it before the post. If it's, you really want to add a banner ad, you can insert it after the post, before the content, after the content, before a paragraph or after a paragraph. That means a set, certain set of paragraphs, you can decide that, hey, I want to add this call to action every after every fourth piece of or fourth paragraph on my content. And this is where it, it becomes really, really powerful. You don't have to use any of these or just the paragraph functionality. You have all these options and you can even customize the uh, category archives or tags pages with this. So you can add the call to actions there as well. And if you're using e-commerce or you, are, you have an e-commerce website, you have tons of different options to choose from. I don't have WooCommerce or any other e-commerce plugin installed, but just imagine all these functionality available. You can add it to the call to action to before the list of products, after the list of products, after single product, before product summary, before the cart, after the cart, checkout form. So imagine the possibilities of how you can communicate to users with any kind of special offer you're running, with any kind of special promotion you're running, any kind of special discount you're running, endless possibilities open up with the power of WP Code. And since this is a block based thing, you can just design any kind of call to action inside the block editor. No developer required, no coding required, no specific kind of skills required. Everything is done inside the block editor. And apart from WooCommerce, it also supports or WP Code also supports easy digital downloads if you're selling digital products and also member press. So if you have a membership based website, you can use all these beautiful call to action locations where you can add all of this beautiful information. So since we are working with page specific options right now, I'm gonna go page specific and I'm gonna choose a paragraph option. So let's say if I, I'm, I'm demonstrating the same thing I explained in the beginning of the video, I want to add the call to action after specific or in between the content. So after let's say three or four paragraphs on my website. So once I select the location insert after paragraph, I can define after paragraph number what? Let's say I name it four. So after every fourth paragraph or on every single post or every single single piece of content on my site, this call to action that I just designed within the block editor will be added. How powerful is that? No need for an expertise, no need for custom development, no need for any kind of special skills. Anybody can do it. If you are just familiar with WordPress, you can do this. It's fun, fantastic. All right. So after paragraph number four, everything is set. You also have some additional opens, options. If you are a little technical, you can use conditional logic to just show it on specific pages on your site. That's a, a or I said that's a functionality for another video. Just wanted to highlight that this functionality also exists. So once this is done, make sure to activate this by toggling this. And once it's done, make sure to update uh, the snippet. And once the snippet is updated, you'll see this notice here. If you go to the code snippets back, you will see this code snippet, which is just added and it is enabled. There are a couple of samples that are added by default when you install WP code, but they are disabled. So don't worry, they're not active right now. After every third paragraph on my website, that call to action will be embedded on every single post on my website. So let's test it out, right? So I already have a post opened up. This is a post that I've opened up. It's called let's test out WP code. And I just added uh, some dummy text here. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs total on this page. Let's update the post and the post is updated. Let's open up the post. And if everything is done correctly, then we should see the call to action directly embedded inside this post. Let's open this up and let's check it out. And one, two, three, four, after the fourth paragraph, this call to action that I just designed inside the block editor has been embedded right inside the content. So anybody who's visiting your website for any piece of content will not miss your special offer. That's the entire point of this video. If I, the piece of content was here, everybody would, would ignore it. If the piece of content was after the comments or somewhere here, most people will ignore it. But if you add it here in between the post or between the content, your users have no option where to at least pay attention to it, whether they are interested or not. And that's the beauty of this new functionality inside WP Code. So easy to add any kind of custom call to actions or I'd say any kind of offers, any kind of images. You can just do anything. You can whatever you can add inside the block editor, you can add right here in the content. The possibilities are just endless. I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg. So let me remind you call to action. So the call to action to you is to subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment if you have questions. And of course, watch some of the other videos that I'll place on screen. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Gunner channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.